Salut tout le monde, welcome back to the channel. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Francia and on this channel, we talk about lifestyle, beauty, makeup, fashion, life, and everything in between. So I hope you consider hitting your subscribe button and your notification bell so that you always know when I upload. Okay, so today's video, do you realize that I say, okay, so after every upload? Okay, so. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I do, I do. I say, okay, so after every upload, okay. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't help it. <laughs> Wait, what else do I say? Um, well, it is what it is. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay, so in today's video, <laughs> let me gather myself. <laughs> okay, so in today's video, well, today's video is going to be not too long. It's just, oh, I want to talk about this little thing. Um, it's been going around. It's not a new thing. Apparently, it's been around forever. It's just making its way back around and it's just bigger and better, I guess, this time. So there are arguments that it could have negative implications on the population or society or whatever. Um, that's the discussion. That's the discussion. That's the discussion or debate for another time. That's not what what I want to address. What I want to address is how both parties are going at each other when either party has the right to feel how they feel and to make decisions that they feel is right for them, and so that shouldn't be. A war between the two just because you decide something and I decide something different and like you're like there literally there is like judgment on either side and I just wanted to talk about that because I feel like I don't know that I'm on a specific side per se but I just I could see both arguments and I want to get into that what am I talking about you may have heard it it is the acronym dink dink or dinks one of them but if you don't know yet, a dink or dinks um, are referred to as dual income, no kids type couples. They These are people that get together and they make money and they decide the, the, the child rearing life is not for them, right? Which is fine. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now, the, the thing that I'm seeing is that Dinks have some ideas as to what it's like to be a mom or what it's like to have children and how your life is supposed to be a certain way and that's why they don't want to have children and the the people with children are looking at dinks like you making the wrong decision blah 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 I think there are areas where both parties can disagree with another but I'm going to I'm going to start with the dinks. Like there are some claims like dinks are making that I'm like, uh, I could see what you're saying, but as a mom, I, I completely disagree. Now for one example, I could give, I watched a video where um, a dink was saying that because I'm a dink, this is literally how she was talking. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna try to do it. <clears throat> and I'm not mocking her or anything, but this is literally how she was second. Because I'm a dink, I am able to make my money and if I want to live somewhere else, I can just literally gather my belongings and I could move somewhere else with no problem and I can travel all over the world because I'm a dink. And if you're like a mom with children, you can't do that. And I'm like, girl, girl, no, no. What I will say though, <laughs> dink was wrong. I moms can do all the things that a dink can do it's just going to well i want to say most of the things i'm just gonna be honest and not be like all the things that a dink can do because there are some things when you have children you you can't technically do them but like for the examples the examples that she, that she used as to why she decided to become a dink i'm like that's not that's not why you don't have kids like because if i'm a mom I can pack up and go live somewhere else. 
I can travel the world. It's just going to look different. Now, if you're saying you want to make it easier on yourself when you travel the world, that's I can completely agree with that because it is a heck of a hassle traveling with children. I'm not even going to lie. I personally, I personally did not travel with my kids when they were young. I'm not that mom who will drag her kids everywhere. I don't have the patience. I, I just don't I just don't I so I restricted going a lot of places when my kids were younger because I would not take them and then I I have suffered from paranoia like extreme paranoia when I'm away from my kids so I just decided not to do a whole lot because I wouldn't want to travel with them and in the time that I travel I can count on one hand how many times I have traveled with my children and it, it, all the times that I did that it was a nightmare it was a nightmare I just it's just not it so there but there are people that do do it I I have a friend like if we're anywhere we go she brings her toddler I I couldn't do that could be me it could never be me I don't I can't do it but I do get it if if you don't have children traveling is a lot easier there is a lot you don't have to think about and if you want to move somewhere you don't have children you could just look for the best jobs or can you get a transfer what life is going to look like for you that's all the research that you have to do but when you when you do have kids you have to figure out um you know what the state you're going to move to what 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 it looks like there not just for you but for your kids pediatrician insurance wise like school wise are there good schools what neighborhoods are you gonna move like you have to look into all that because you have to make provisions for your children so you're not just thinking about yourself you're thinking about other people so yes you do have to do a lot more work when you have children but i don't think having children disqualifies you from traveling which is or from being great really which is what a lot of dinks think that being a mom is which means you really are done for i don't know if there is like a a, a jealousy between the parties because some dinks like almost look down on moms or people who have kids or whatever and people with kids they're thinking that dinks are just like totally ridiculous for 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 not wanting to have kids or the reasons as to why they do not want to have kids they're like being ridiculous and they're calling them like self-centered or selfish or whatever it, it is it is selfish you know I, I'm not denying that but the the decision to have children has to be the most selfless act to ever exist because it is true once you have that child you are never going to be living for yourself anymore nothing that you do is going to be about you anymore you actually take a back seat to a lot of things to make sure that you you give your kid the best having a child comes with a lot of responsibilities it comes with a lot of not giving up on yourself but you get what i'm saying you, you get what i'm saying you get it in my opinion i think I think we need to we need to stop comparing the two like the whole back and forth between the two parties the whole judging each other it needs to stop because having children it's it's not an easy task it comes with a lot and there's a lot of mental strength that you have to have to have children I say all this to say leave dinks alone and leave moms alone but anyways that is all for my rant on this matter. Let me know what you guys think. Do you know a dink? Are you a dink? Are you planning on being a dink? If you were, were you a dink that changed your mind and decided to have kids? What is your experience like? Let me know down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. But until then, I hope to see you in the comment section. Bye.